Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have already been here before. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. Today we have update number four I think for my project 10 pan, the rolling project 10 pan um, that is a roulette style and as of previously I was not able to finish anything but as of last time I now finally have an empty in this project and I am super excited about that and the empty that I have is my Kaya that extra hydration moisturizing setting spray so finally finished so it was right here when I started first update and then uh, no wait right up here when I started first update second update Third update was down here and then I finished it off. In the background you will hear my little baby, he's barking at the neighbors. Can't do much about that. But I'm super excited to finally have an item finished, which means one out of ten is finished. Um, and my goal with this project was to finish ten items in complete. And then once I do that, to, to finish off the project. So, so far I'm not going, doing great, it's almost end of September. I have a little bit of hopes for like two of the items, maybe more, but uh, yeah, this one, at least I have one out of my collection for this project and I'm super excited about that. I do have progress on everything else, so let's just jump into what I have. So we have the H&M blush stick. This one I got in the H&M advent calendar for 2020 um, and uh, yeah. When I first started, I was at this first line, then second line, I was there for a while, and now this third line is where I am right now. So I was able to make a little bit of progress there, and I'm really happy about that. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit down there, like it was all the way to the top when it was rolled all the way down. But now I do have a little bit of room up there, so I do have a little bit of progress, but this will take me a few years to use up at this point. The next one on the list is my H&M eyeliner in gl glitter eyeliner. This one is number 6 in Beauty Countdown in 2020 Advent Calendar. And this is where I'm at right now. So the third line is where I am at currently. It is what I'm wearing over a black liner today. I am trying to make a point of using it a little bit more often. So I do have a little bit of progress on this one as well. Then we have the Ardell Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. This one had a tiny little pad in the middle last time. And now you can see I do have a lot more pan showing, however it did kind of break in the middle and separated. So yeah, but I am really doing my best to use it. It's what I have in my eyebrows today. It's what I have in my eyebrows most days. And yeah, trying my hardest to use it. I mean, it won't be finished by the end of the year, but at some point, maybe next year, <laughs> it will be finished. So I'm excited to have progress. Next in line is the Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder and this one is going to take me forever as well. But I am down at that third line right now so I have made a little bit of progress as of the last time and yeah I'm really excited about seeing a little bit of room between the cap and in the packaging here. Um, doing my best to use it but yeah. It's going very slowly. Then we have the Clinique lipstick in 06 Poppy Pop. It's a little mini lipstick. It's very orangey red shade. As you can see, this is what I have left of it. And yeah, I am still at this second line right there. Um, I'm slightly below it, but not enough to make a new mark. So I will leave it at that. Um, yeah, used it a few times, but obviously not enough, but I am making a little bit of progress on it. Then we have the Smashbox blush in the shade Atoms Apple that I have in this palette right here. And I have been working on this one the whole last year, 
of 2021 and now it's almost the end of 2022 and I still don't have a pan. Like I literally still don't even have a beginning of a pan. But I do think that I have, I am seeing progress. I am seeing that it has some indentations there. It's, it's looking used so hopefully by the end of the year I at least am able to hit pan on this one. That would make my day if that's possible. Then we have the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Royal Armor. I have taken out the stopper out of this one and I am finally able to mark it on the bottle or, or the little container here. So this is where we are currently, about halfway through with this one. Took out the stopper, trying to reach what's ever left in there. It's super thick, it's so thick it's almost impossible to get and the wand is getting very flimsy so it cannot get out the product so it's really difficult for me to use it uh, the silver sparkles in it are very gritty on the lips it is super drying it is already dried out it is so difficult to use but i am halfway through with this one and i just really want to use it up so i i have used it a lot um for being so uncomfortable then we have the Too Faced Bronzer from the Little Black Book of Bronzers. I'm working on Snow Bunny and I do think that I have a lot of progress on that one. I'm about more than halfway finished with this one. The whole white shade is finished and the brown shade, I only have a little bit here left. Uh, the pink shade is half gone and I am starting to work down the highlighty champagne shade right there. So. Um, I feel like this might be finished by the end of the year if I'm really really doing a good job. Um, I might be able to finish it by the end of the year. That would be really exciting so that I can randomize another one to work on um, in this palette. But that would be really exciting if I was able to finish that one off. And the last item that I have in this project currently is my Primavera shade from my Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm just gonna take out the brush and the shade Primavera is the golden shimmery shade that is right there and as you can see I do have a pan on this one had it before as well but I feel like I have expanded the pan a lot more than I had previously and I am really trying to use it. However, I have sort of found out that the shimmery shades really hurt my eyelids, especially this one and the first part of the eyelid on this, on my left side. So I am being a little bit careful with these ones, but I also do have, I am using down the side there, as you can see. So I feel like I have a lot of progress on that one. and. Maybe if I continue on doing the golden looks that I have been doing for the most part of the year, I am able to finish that one off. That would be really nice if I'm able to do that. And those were the 10 items that I was working on as of previously. And now we are going to randomize a new item to work on. The items that I have are in this 1 to 35 in this little booklet that I have and they are all collected here so let's just see which number we are going to choose so it's going to be number 1 to 35 and we are doing it with the Google and the number is 25 and I do not have that one in the rotation and that one is from Revlon and it is another lip product. So this is lipstick in the shade 205 Champagne on Ice. I worked on this lipstick previously in a few years ago in a project pan and I did do quite a good job on that one but I still have a little bit left so this is how much I have left of this one and it is literally a very champagne kind of very very 
shimmering I wouldn't say shimmering but it's a very glossy frosty shade I don't know if you're able to see but that is a lot easier to use with a good lip liner underneath so yeah this is how much I have of that one and um, I do have a lot of lip products to work on so we have three lip products that I'm trying to use up. I think my focus will be mainly on the Royal Armor liquid lipstick because it's so dry and I just I don't think it will survive many more months. But yeah, nice to have another item, a new item in this project. I have been working on the old ones for so long now that I'm excited to add in something new. And that was it for this update. Make sure to like this video down below if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. I would love to have you here more often. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye.